That was a fantastic performance. That was so much fun to listen to. Thank you. I'm so excited to see the video. That's gonna be it's gonna be sick for sure. Nice, yeah. Stoked to see it. Yeah. It's very fun. That's like uh, we're still like really fresh too. So that's oh, really? uh, yeah, that's our is it the debut this is, well, of Well, that's Samuel? the second. That's the second show. Oh, sick! Okay. We did one show back in January. We're and at then, uh, at Esco. Nice. Yeah, it was Very a cool. it was a good time. Who were we with? We played with uh, TV Erased and uh, oh, Brutal, um, awesome band. <laughs> Why can't I think of their name right now? From New York. Oh, I thought their uh, name was Brutal, and I was no, like, that's no, a not pretty brutal. good name. And I don't have my. Oh, we'll we'll look it up huge, later. Huge blank. We'll Sorry. give them we'll uh, give them a shout for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Need activity. But since it's so new, I'd love was, to hear it was, about it was like activity. It was activity. I, yeah, yeah. Just activity. Yeah. That's the group name. Yeah. Fantastic. I'll definitely remember that. I hope I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a bit about Samoy. How it it came to be. This is your solo project, this is a correct? Solo project. Right. Um, funny enough, though, like the bassist Mishka Mishka Stein, we also have another band together yeah, Fang. as a duo. Yeah, true. Okay, yeah. Uh, so you've yeah. produced. You've you're in an, another duo with Fang. Yeah. Um, are you from Montreal, by the no, way? No, I'm from Vancouver Island. Oh, very yeah, cool. Small town. Wh- Vancouver, which town? Uh, Cumberland, which is like the Comox Valley. Maybe people know okay. better. It's uh, it's north of Nanaimo. Okay. It's like yeah. North Island. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful so place. So nice. It's yeah. yeah it, I miss it. Yeah. I, I was just home. there in. I was just there in January. Whereabouts? Salt Spring, Victoria, oh, cool. Vancouver. Cool. Nice. I mean, it's lovely, but <coughs> that's. Um, I'm gonna announce this now, even though no one knows either, and this hasn't been announced yet. And I don't know if I should or not, but I'm gonna. Josh say it anyways. is. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Josh is gone, but uh, he's gone. You can I have back. a. I have a West Coast tour this summer. No way. With, uh, and we're going like Salt Spring, uh, Courtney oh Comox, uh, Quadra Island, Vancouver. What month? Uh, July. I'm there in July. Nice. On, on the island. I'm going to be in Victoria and then Vancouver. So hopefully oh, cool. we'll be there at the yeah, same time. Nice. So it would be you can sick. Come to the show. Yeah, 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 that would be we're sick. We're going, uh, going on tour with Gus Inglehorn. No another, freaking way. Yeah. 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 No so it's going to be a. Fun time. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but I said it. You know so what? Josh whatever. is gone. Your manager is mean, gone. I mean, he isn't even my manager. <laughs> oh, he's, he's not. not. He's not. He planned this like, whole thing. Just, no, no. He's just he's the homie for sure. Nice. He's, uh, I mean, he's my radio tracker and good oh, friend. Love it. But uh, he, I feel like he's my manager kind <laughs> yeah. of. It's like, yeah, he's pretty awesome. Nice. So yeah. So how did this project start? It seems a little bit different from Fang and obviously from different. producing yeah. for Half Moon Run, which is yeah. very different. Yeah. It's uh. I don't know, just the need for, I feel like there was a big creative shift for me during the pandemic, Yeah. just because I was like, oh shit, like, I'm not like producing anyone anymore, mm-hmm. and it just was like an opportunity to work on some tunes, mm-hmm. and I actually like, we probably don't have enough time to get into it, but I have- We uh, have 12 minutes. No, yeah, exactly, but no, 10 so minutes. my, uh, my- I was in like a severe car accident when I was 17 and I got suffered like a really hardcore brain injury from that. And like I was in a coma for a long time and a lot of stuff happened and like the next year or two following that. And it was like a really hard time in my life. And I started writing like a film script about it Mm -hmm. and I started writing music for this film script. And that was like Mishka, me and Mishka were kind of talking all the time and we were I was like man like this is this idea I have for this movie and we started collaborating on music together um just like more just writing with each other Mm. and we ended up uh we ended up just with all these songs for this film script that I did and then there was all these like kind of offshoot songs Mm -hmm. and then uh we were just like made a playlist of all these other songs and we were like man like it kind of sounds like a record, like a cool, weird record. Yeah. And then that was the birth of Fang. Mm. And then we were doing that, and I was just, like, back on the bug, you know, because I'm like, oh, I'm playing again. It was just, like, my soul was just being, like, s- super filled up, you know? Yeah. And then so I was like, oh, like, I want to – because Mishka is, like, a – total pro and it's in so many like awesome bands he plays with patrick watson he plays in teke teke Mm -hmm. he's just like kind of uh very sought after (laughs) so uh i'm uh i just wanted to have something that was kind of like oh i'll have like freedom to play extra shows and stuff when mishka's busy and just like 
and I've always been like a bit of a kind of a thrasher and mm. like you know I've always <laughs> been into like kind of skateboard scene and like yeah. the whole and I feel like Samoy really is like kind of tapping into like what I was really into when I was like 16 mm -hmm. and like paying homage to like who I was when I was kid with a mohawk and you know just like <laughs> listening to slayer yeah. and it was like yeah well i'm sorry <clears throat> I'm, I'm so sorry to hear about your your car accident that That's, is yeah. awful and i'm sure music is a way to like cope with something totally. as awful as that happening yeah. and when i was listening to um the singles that are out you can definitely hear a lot of themes of like of, of darkness and sadness yeah. and some trauma yeah. and yeah would love to hear um like the writing process for those those first few singles if you'd like to share um, i know that well no no it's like uh no it's awesome uh the writing process is like so different all the time mm -hmm. and i'm also a producer right so a lot of the time i'll start just like with this and I'm not like uh, I'm not super skilled at like playing instruments. You, you or won anything, a Juno Award, it's, so it's like, well, but I mean, it's pretty skilled. As yeah, I mean, through working with great artists, though, you know, and like being involved in something that I'm no, so lucky to be involved in. Yeah, no one does it alone. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But uh, the writing process, well, I mean, lyrics definitely just like come out, and I think I was always like a a bit of like into poetry and stuff but mm -hmm. I never actually read it like would write it down mm -hmm. and so I've just like I have this like rolodex of just ideas that's just so long yeah. of just like sentences that I write down and stuff and a lot of the time I'll like m write a riff or something and then I'll just like scroll through this like a huge mm -hmm. document that's like crazy and then I'll find the line you know and there's usually like a starting line yeah. or a feeling or a lot of the time I'll just like kind of go Ma, 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 ma. and then I'll just think of something and a lot of the times it goes to a pretty dark like you right. know kind of traumatic place where I find most of my inspiration from but it's also like just kind of a healing process and yeah. I feel there will be a time soon enough where like oh maybe that won't be like what's coming up so mm -hmm. much you know it's probably pretty cathartic to like totally be able to like write that out and perform it to people and and yeah totally and it be received well so yeah people people are like supportive of me i feel like it, it seems like it yeah yeah totally. i saw some of your music videos nice. and they are so beautiful oh, thanks, um dude. i i wrote it down because there was one uh, that i white dog oh nice i felt yeah. like i was watching like <clears throat> some alien kidnapping like like a movie yeah. like star trek vibes it was nice. yeah sci-fi vibes sci-fi for, sure. for like, sure yeah that's like uh that was specifically like inspired by uh director panos cosmatos his mm. movie beyond the black rainbow mm. and it's like if you watch that film, you'd be like, oh, this is totally inspired by this film. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, that was just uh, – I made that song a long time ago, and it was actually mm. for the film script that I was writing, but it ended up being a kind of fit with this group of songs. And then yeah. have to give a shout-out to uh, my friend Evangelos that was mm. the lead DOP on that, and he's so good. It's like, so oh, good. my God. Dude. I think, like, one of the top comments yeah. was, like, I'd like to see the sequel – to this and like i'd totally. like this to be continued on so maybe that movie will get made one I'm day i'm definitely working with evangelos yeah. more and the whole team it's yeah. like i'm not going to list everyone but <laughs> everyone that was involved in white dog if you watch the video mm -hmm. at the end there there's a nice big credit list and like yeah. all those that was like a huge another moment of like a lot of people supporting me and mm. it just coming together in like a matter of like kind of it was thanksgiving dinner and, like, Evangelos was like, this is the day we can do it. And it was, like, 10 days away. But he's like, all your stuff is not prepped enough. You mm. need to prep this more and just, like, come. And I'm just, like, there, tur like, eating turkey and just, like, <laughs> on my laptop, like, so in the zone. I'm like, I need to send this out tonight. Nice. And it all came together. We shot that whole thing in one day. No way. Yeah, we shot it all in one day. And, like, we started, like, first shots with, like, a uh, Brit the main uh mm -hmm. the main uh dancer actress right. uh, sh and we met her at the 
that uh, the park by my studio that has those weird domes in it. Uh, oh, she was running running through. She was running the through park? the yeah, and it was <laughs> like sunrise, and it just happened that it was the one day where there was so much fog. Yeah, and it was so Perfect. foggy and eerie, and we met at like. I'm like, all right, we'll meet there at 4.30 a.m. or whatever, mm-hmm. and then, like, finish the video at, like, 1 a.m. kind of the night. Like, it was a serious long day, but it was awesome. Yeah. We built that whole set that's, like, in the scene. Mm-hmm. Like, it was just an empty room. and In bruh. one day. That's, yeah, it's that's crazy. That's really surprising. Yeah. And then with Awkward Party, I was really curious, is there some nice. symbolism to the the video or to the, the masks? Because I, it looks yeah. like <laughs> the first <laughs> thing I thought of when I saw it was like, it looks like found footage yeah. of like some nice, dude. underground, like well, elitist it, party, oh, you know, nice. like, do you some, know about that? Um, I, I read about a little, like a little bit about, did I send that to you? No, or, no. Like, okay. I did so, my research. Okay. Nice. So the... <laughs> Yeah, it's based off of, like, the the Rothschild family, like, masquerade, psychedelic mm. masquerade balls that they would have in, like, the 70s and stuff. And all, like, the elite people of the world and stuff would, like, yeah. get invited to these weird masquerades. And I felt like, I'm kind of like... I. And I'm also just masks in general. Like, I'm so just, uh, I'm just inspired by masks mm-hmm. because I feel like my whole life I've always kind of put on these different masks and, like, been all these different versions of myself that it's so, I just find the symbolism in masks, like, pretty right. powerful. Mm-hmm. And uh, to go back to the Rothschild thing, <laughs> I feel, uh, I just wanted to do this, like, psychedelic kind of, like, I guess, like, a poor man's version Mm -hmm. of, like, what this party would look like to me. Mm -hmm. And once again, like, all that stuff. So, like, that was uh, directed by – or, well, it was shot by and co-directed by Gus Englehorn and Este Preta. And uh, that we shot it all on 16-millimeter film, like, Mm -hmm. on all these old Russian cameras and (laughs) – same thing. It was like a five day prep thing, and I was like, "All right, this is the day that where they can come." And I just like went and I rented all this stuff to decorate my studio, mm-hmm. and I just like set it all up. I had everyone come, bought some masks, and a lot of people made their own outfits. Nice. And I just told everyone the premise, and everyone showed up like dressed like that, and yeah. it was like it, it looked, just became, it looked like a lot of fun. It, it was really awesome. Fun. Yeah, yeah. It's really awesome. I won't have time for okay. rapid fire questions, <laughs> okay. and I really wanted to hear okay. it. And I okay. and I really like this interview, yeah. how it's going. So it's sad that we have to end it uh, in like thirty seconds. But you have a debut album coming out June twelfth, June second, June second, and the then shows, the June show fourteenth, June fourteenth at, at Esco. Esco. Yeah. So we're gonna have a couple tickets to give out to our listeners. Nice. Um, so just keep an eye out on the Instagram. Uh, shout out to Matilda for filming. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Zach, for audio. <laughs> Thank, thank you, you Josh thank you, for managing everyone. kind of yeah, kind of managing <laughs> and thank you so much to you for yeah. for coming out and for playing for us